I really didn't give it much thought. I never thought I would be part of it. Right. Never in a million years. I never wanted to be part of it. Um, it's so funny because you never say never, you right. know, and it just happened. Then they reached out to me after uh, for season three, and I actually thought that they were casting for a different show. Really? Because I had always cooked and I baked and I went yeah. to cooking events and, and food shows and things like that. And so I thought that they were reaching out to me to cast me in like a cooking show or something. Oh. Because they had mentioned other shows that they cast for. And it was like right. TLC and Food Network shows and all this other stuff. Interesting. So, I was like, so like yeah. the production company, they never said, or the casting people, they never that was, said it was No, it wasn't for specifically for that. Huh. They had said that they they cast shows for right. TLC, Food Network. Which that makes you sense. You know, and Bravo and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And they mentioned a bunch of different things. So I just said, okay. And I thought it was a joke at first. Right. You know, and I, I ignored it a few times and then I got another inbox and then I told my husband and he said, well, just answer them. What are you yeah. going to say? But it was, like I was it could just, have been to have your own cooking show. Like you, right, you didn't know. Right. But it was also around the time where I was just learning Facebook. Right. I didn't have, I had just started Instagram. It was the MySpace era. And I, and the reason why I started Instagram was so I could stalk my kids. And that's, that's pretty a good much reason. why I started Facebook too, was so I could stalk my kids. And so I got this inbox and I was like, oh my God, what do I do with this? You right. know? I was very, very paranoid about all that stuff, you know? Interesting. So finally I did answer them and then they wanted a phone call and my husband just said, well, okay, it's a phone call, Kat. Yeah. What's it going to hurt? And so I did and I still at that point was in the dark, but we hit it off. The woman was really fantastic we you know we we hit it off really well it was a fun conversation and then they said they wanted to meet the family and so still at that point i'm still thinking okay i'm gonna get this cooking show you right. know or be a part of a reality cooking show something right. like that and they came to the house they interviewed me and rich and uh then i started cooking and then I was cooking, I had them over and I said, oh yeah, stay for dinner, you know? So they stayed and then they, we had wrapped up the interview and then they pulled up the cameras again when I was cooking. And I was like, oh, okay, this is really where it's going. And then yeah. towards the end they said, well, you know, this, this casting tape was for Real Housewives in New Jersey. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I don't really want to do that. Because, I mean, at that point, the show had been on for two years. It was on for two years. And you were cousins. Yes. You are was, cousins with yes. Teresa. And, and so, like, and it sounds like you knew Carol. So, like. Yeah, I knew What everyone. was your, like, so, I mean, during those two years, even before this, like, was there, like, oh, I'm going out with Carolyn, but she was on. Like, did you see the hype surrounding the show? Like, if you well, I had her, been at a few events that yeah. they were. Actually, they even filmed me. You know, you see me in the background. Yeah. At a few. Now, looking back, you know. Right. But. At the time, I didn't think anything of it. I never really wanted to be on camera. I was like awkward on camera. Right. I, I remember even going to a party and I was holding a gift and I dropped the gift when I saw all these lights around me. It was like really? very, very awkward. I'm very awkward on camera. Very, you know, not, it's just not, you know, not something I ever thought about. Yeah. You know? So anyway, then I never followed up with the casting people. That was back in April. And I never followed up ever, you know, just because right. when I knew it was for that, I just was like, right. Yeah. You're like, take your film and whatever. Yeah, it was a fun experience, yeah. all that, but I'm really not that interested about it, you know, at all. And then in July, I got a call and they said, oh, you know what? We, we, we're, we're, we're getting down to the wire about choosing people. And I was like, oh, I didn't even think about it anymore yeah and they said yeah we're gonna make a decision this week and um you, you're one of the top people and i was like all right and in the back of my head i'm saying okay as soon as they say that i wanted that they want me or if they want me i'm gonna tell them i'm not doing it yeah and then that same day i got a call from Teresa, telling me that they you know pretty much saying how dare you, you know, you're going to be the next housewife. And I was like, no, I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not going to be. I just interviewed on the phone and met with somebody, but there's no contract. What are you talking about? They're yeah. saying they're, to, they're still interviewing people. And there was no reasoning 
you know, there was no way I could reason or make her understand that I wasn't doing this. Right. The conversation escalated. It got ugly. And then something changed. And they sent me a contract. And I was like, whoa, I never expected any of this. I, you know, I'm still not doing it. I talked to them. I must have, <laughs> I must have turned it down. I don't even know how many times. And at one point, that probably one, made them even more interested. One of the well, what made it more interesting was because she wasn't. She was, you know, she Upset, wasn't having yeah. it at all. And I didn't. And I didn't want to fight with her at all, ever, ever, ever. And I don't want to get into the whole banter back and forth that we had, the exchange, because it wasn't nice. But um, I remember one day talking to one of the producers and. She said, you know what? There are people lining up to do this show. And I said, well, go pick them. I didn't come to you. You came to me. You know, I have a right to ask questions. Yeah. How my how things are going to change in my life, you know? And then I didn't start filming until October. I believe it was October. And I signed the contract the day before. Oh, wow. That's how I was not doing it. Because yeah, they don't film you if you don't sign that contract. Right. And I was just still not, and they were like, come on, you know, are you going to do this or what? And then I just said, and my husband said. Sorry, I think we were still like release form. Yeah, it was just a release form at that point. It wasn't even like a long blown out contract. And um, I said, all right, whatever. Let's see. He says, what what do we have to lose? We don't like it. We don't do it anymore. Right. And so we went with it. And then the, the very next day, I filmed like a short scene with Melissa. And then the next day was the christening. Did you oh, Did you know Melissa was going to be on it too? Well, then I had found out afterwards. Right. You know, like during this whole process from like July to September, I had found out. And then the, the things that I was hearing and blah, 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 that led me to, you know, kind of edge, edged me on to make my decision to right. do it. You know, Because this is that whole old you know the whole thing where Teresa right. says like Melissa and it wasn't and behind anybody's back I wasn't interested like they had gone to her and told her that they cast me before right. they told me and her reaction was pretty much what made me more you know attractive to them because I could see that they could, they, you know meanwhile if she would have said oh cool that's great then they probably maybe who knows maybe right. they would have kept looking but then when she protested so much that's what made them want me more. And, and and I was always at the same position with them that I, I'm not fighting with my family. You don't understand. I don't want to fight with my family. I'm not right. going to do that. I love my family. I'm not going to fight with them. I mean, that's the thing. Like, that's what made that season well, in particular, like, so unique. You know, you have this mm-hmm. franchise mm-hmm. and even now so where, okay, like, there's been other families that right. are related. But sure. this was deep. Like, yeah, this is when you're like, this is not TV anymore, people. This is like right. real and life. It, and here. it didn't need to be. Like, you know, like I fight with my sister. Right. And I'm not, I'm never going to deny that I fight with my sister. Right. People fight, you know, you argue, but then you resolve it. Exactly. You know, and I'm wrong. She's wrong. We're both wrong. Um, you know, but that's what happens with family. You look at each other and you just say, okay, it doesn't really matter who's wrong or right. I totally. love you. Let's move on.